Hello everyone, this is Barbie. Well, I'm back from the big freeze <laughs> and I've been a little bit under, under the weather with some health problems, but nothing important. Just hasn't, just haven't felt up to my normal self and I'm um, trying to get dug out from uh, all the days where I couldn't use the internet. Uh, it's amazing how much you use your internet and you don't realize it until you can't, it's not there anymore. But, uh, anyhow, I'm here today, uh, number one, I want to show you this beautiful little tag that I got from my, um, from a lovely lady. I believe she lives in Wales. Her name's Lita Walters. And, um, she, uh, made this tag. It was a, uh, what you call a tag, uh, swab. And it was put on by Carol at Oak House Journal. So, um, if y'all are interested possibly in doing that next month, it's really fun. It doesn't cost much to send these little tags. And um, you just get a little bit of, um, you can share what you know with, with others from other countries or wherever. Um, you strike up a friendship. You get to know the ladies in our community, you know, on, more, on a more personal level. So I thought it was a really good opportunity uh, to meet someone new. So, this is a lovely tag that Lita did for me. Um, she's got a lot of the same um, things that I like. So, I guess that we are very similar in, what, in our taste, I guess. Because she's got some butterflies. You know how much I love butterflies. She's got some little die cuts here from uh, Tim Holtz. And I love those. Gives a little bit of dimension to it. Some antique or vintage buttons and lace. And then she added the a little bolt pin up here with a, a vintage button and a beautiful little tag. It has a teeny tiny little, looks like maybe, I don't know if it's a stamp or what it is, but anyhow, it's really lovely. And of course, she put my initial on here, which was thoughtful. And put a little uh, piece of the fabric she used down here, up here for the uh, top of the tag. Anyhow, I just wanted to show it to everyone. And her and her daughter, I believe... They have a YouTube channel, and uh, I will uh, link it below. So if you're interested in going over and seeing what they're up to, um, it's a mother-daughter uh, channel. So it's lovely that she's sharing her uh, love for crafts with her daughter. And on the back, it has just some lovely uh, coffee or tea dyed paper. Anyhow, I love it, Lita. Thanks again, and uh, hopefully we'll be speaking soon. Okay, this is my flip through from a little uh, forest mouse journal. I have to totally enjoyed uh, working on this. In fact, I didn't want to finish it because I, every time I picked it up, I saw something I wanted to add to it. Not that it needed it, but I just really enjoyed the, the I, and I think this was probably the my most favorite journal that I've worked on. Um, I have a special love for little mice. When we were children, uh, we didn't have any dolls or anything to play with, and we lived out in the country. So, a lot of times we would find a little uh, nest of, of mice, and we would play with those poor little mice until they were just about wore out. <laughs> Mama would make us put them back. But, you know, we didn't kill them because um, they were out in the, uh, oh, the outbuildings. Um, they weren't in the house. So we just left them alone other than playing with them more than probably we should have. Anyhow, so I do have a special love for little mice. I don't like them in my house, but you know what I'm saying. Um, so here I put a little a bit of the um, glossy accents for the eye and, and raised the eye up a bit to give it a, a little bit of presence there. Uh, put some of uh, Susan Taylor Brown's lovely um, fussy cut brown leaves, which I just adore. I've used them all throughout. It's perfect for this journal. Uh, also, some little butterflies that I cut out and put there. A little dragonfly that I put some glossy accent on the wings and on the body to give it a little bit of dimension. Um, I believe this is... Oh, I don't remember. I think that's my porch prints. But anyhow, uh, here is some of the um, little leaves that I put inside of a coin protector and a little butterfly on the other side and then I just ran my fabric through there 
and glued it. Originally, I had had some little twigs, but I got to thinking about it, and I just decided that those little twigs were not uh, maybe strong enough, and I didn't want something that maybe break, so I changed my mind on the twigs. If you watched the last one I did before when I was working on this, you probably saw a twig that I had used for a uh, tie, but I changed that. Changed my mind. Sorry. <laughs> Anyhow, um, this is a little label. I don't remember whose it is, but I suspect it's probably Tracy Fox Love Junk Journal. Uh, some little dried fern that I got out of my yard and um, put in there on that side. A little tie. And then here on the on the uh, back, I did a three-hole pamphlet stitch. It's got three signatures in it. There's approximately 72 pages front and back, and the and the journal is approximately nine by six, and the spine is approximately uh, two and a quarter inches. Now this little uh, jewelry on the back is. Let me see if I can do this without moving my book because I kind of got it where I want it. Um, let me do it this way so I can lay it down. I put all kinds of little goodies on here. I just dug around and found everything that I, I thought would look pretty on a um, forest type thing. And um, made all kinds of little dingle dangles. This is a, one of my lamp work beads uh, that you uh, use a torch and you melt uh, glass rods and you make the lamp bead. These are a sterling silver um, bead as well as the sterling silver wire and everything I used on this one. Uh, use bulb pins to hang it all so it can all be uh, removed easily. Uh, this is a little frog I thought was cute had to be put on there. Two little owls. Hope I'm not sticking my fat fingers in the way so much you can't see it. Some little vintage buttons. Uh, a little, um, I guess that's a hummingbird. I forget what kind of stone that is, but it's a real stone. And a little, my little owl bead, which I thought worked perfectly. Okay, let's move on. Um, I imagined, you know, how you kind of, <clears throat> or I do, and I, I know some other ladies do too. You kind of want to, or I do, let's put it this way. I'm making a broad statement there. I don't mean to. Um, kind of what I think about when I'm doing a journal or when I start a journal is, who did this journal belong to? Why did they make it? What was its purpose? And what would you want to put in it if you were this person? So I kind of use that thought pattern and in the uh, back part of the I mean excuse me in the inside here I put a little watch face a vintage watch face and that is to help support that um, string in there and make sure it's good and strong and I put one of the little pockets in here and use some um, collaging but what I was trying to say is I thought to myself, if I were a little lady and I was a botanist back in the maybe 1800s um, and I wanted to keep all of my treasures that I'd found out in the forest and I wanted to make a book out of it and I wanted to be able to go back and look in that book and have the memories of where I found all of these uh, treasures and how I would use it. So that's kind of how I put the book together. So with that thought in mind, I thought, you know, I would like to have a little uh, paper bag or some kind of little bag that I can just open up and put in some specimens, uh, some maybe some drawings I had done of plants or whatever. So I left the bag empty, but that was what I was thinking. And so I just put this little collage on there just to make it pretty, you might say. So then I stuck it in here. And I wanted to also, um, this is a little envelope I had made uh, with some of my, um, oh, what do you call it, paper snippets. Um, and I believe this, yeah, this is one of Edith, Edith Holden's pages, and I, I put some other little collage pieces on there. 
this this is what I thought of as um, a place that I might want to put my picture or a picture of the lady who had done the book and maybe where she lived. So I found this picture and I thought it was perfect of an old house and there's a little lady standing there and she's looking off in the distance and I made it like it was a, a postcard. And then I perceived that this was her, the little lady. And she looks all prim and proper, sort of, but in the same aspect, she's got a simple hairdo, which was kind of, you know, plain for back in that time. She wasn't a Victorian lady or anything, just a simple lady. Um, and then that is the back of the cabinet card. These I got from um, uh, Taylor Made Journals. Thank you, Lorna. She always has such beautiful digitals, and I'll link all of this in my description below. So I put that in there for a safekeeping and also to identify the little lady who possibly might have done this treasure that she, she would want to keep and pass on to her children. Okay. Okay, then on with just some... I tried to make sure I left spaces with most things to journal or to write notes or to put pictures in the real world here we're talking about. And then uh, just some other little, I believe I got these off, I, I forget where I got them. I'll be lying if I said I do. Um, then on the back, I used a technique, uh, this is a real leaf out of my yard that was dried. And I did some, I used some different paints and did some different techniques. So it's raised, you can feel the texture in it. And just, also, I used a, a little Tracy label here. There's another one of those really cool fussy cut brown leaves from Susan. Uh, I believe it's poppiness is over on her shop is over on it on the Etsy, but I will link it all. Some of my uh, coffee dyed papers, and then I tried to do a little collage on every page or something so but leave plenty of space for journaling so these are just some of my coffee dyed papers and they're using the leaves as a tab again my little collage a tag i did with some piece of vintage um lace and i believe that is the um oh gosh it's Artie Mays and um, Love Junk Journal, Tracy's collaboration they did together. So if you go to either one of their um, uh, Etsy shops, you'll see. I can't remember the name of it at the moment, but I'll try to remember it and put it down there. Again, this is a little um, hidden paper clip. You can use both sides. So the paper clip's inside. And I just use that on the just to hold this little envelope here. And again, I've seen I've showed you these envelopes in a past uh, video, but it's basically a collage I did and put on just a folded piece of paper. So you open it up, you can journal. And I used one of her little leaves, Susan's leaves, to hold it shut. And tucked it underneath there. This is from the Undercliff. And um Again, this right here is a stamp, and then I hand painted all of these with using um, chalk pencils and colored it all in. Some stamping I did. Again, just some pieces of collage that I did. I, I hand colored that. That's a Mackie stamp, and some other little pieces of leaves etc this is Susan's Susan, Susan Taylor Brown and this is a uh, love junk journal archive paper I printed on both sides for journaling like so and then <clears throat> this is the center of the first signature I just tied some little uh, fun things I had and a leaf on each one of the ties so it closes like that again a collage I did there's a little tab up there at the top. 
This is a hand painted butterfly from a stamp. Uh, feel, uh, I believe it's Feel Notes, but I can't remember for sure. Um, Use some tape to make it look like it was taped in. Um, this is from the Undercliff, little badger. Another one of uh, Susan's leaves, a collage I did there using some of the fabric that I used on the um, on the uh, cover of the book. Again, here's an little envelope I made using Susan's uh, eco dyed papers, and it opens up so you can then journal inside or put something inside of there. Um, did the, again the little collage there using some of her leaves and butterflies. Um, this is a, a snippet roll that I did, what they called a large snippet roll, and it's done with just different papers and then it's all stitched, which holds it together, so I used that to make the pocket. <clears throat> I think I did a video on that one. This is made with a little real leaf I got out of my yard, two leaves, and I used uh, some kind of paint that had a bit of a gold cast to it. And it also sealed the leaves. This is done with a, a piece of uh, Franken paper that I had done to make it. And again, a little wren on the back and a description of showing the wren's uh, nest. A funny, a while ago I had the uh, door open and I came back, I had left it open, and there was a little wren in my art studio over there just hunting, pecking around for some place to make a nest. They're so funny. Uh, little snippet I did there. Again, this is Artie Mays and Tracy's uh, kit. I can't remember the name of it. I was trying earlier to remember it. <clears throat> and I believe that's my porch prints <clears throat> on the back. Excuse me. <clears throat> Nature's Remedies, finally it came to my poor feeble mind. <laughs> Nature's Remedies, that's it. Okay, again, some of uh, Susan's leaves, just some collaging on the back. This again is, um, I don't remember if it's Nature's Remedies or which one, but this is, it's, I think it's Tracy's kit, but I'm not sure. I had so many papers and kits out, Lord have mercy. I just picked what I liked, so excuse me if, you know, I can't remember for sure which is which. But anyhow, I did a little collage here, and here's another one of my little stamped beetles that I had uh, used the chalk pencils on and colored in and put some little extra stuff there. That's um, uh, some paper called Trees, and again, I'll put the link below if it's in a little pocket like that. I did a collage on that. Again, a little collage in the leaf. Um, collage down here I did. And this is just a selection of uh, different tags. I also put a little leaf in there. And all of the tags have something on the back, but you can uh, journal on like that. So these are for putting pictures or journals on, or journaling on rather. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> Again, Nature's Remedy and my Porch Prince tag. This piece of lace top. This is eco dyed paper I had done. Um, this is one of my uh, digitals. Paper for my digital. And, uh, the other side of the um, under the cliff. The under cliff. Excuse me. And then I use these little leaves to support where I was gonna stitch through the paper because the paper, I didn't want it, I wanted it to have some extra support, but I didn't wanna just put something down there, so I used these leaves, which is uh, printed on a thicker paper. And the other side. This is uh, something I got out of, uh, off of one of the museum websites. Again, some little stamps I did and colored in with the chalk uh, chalk pencils old piece of um, inside of a book marbled paper and stitched around and that's a little tag I had done from uh, one of my papers and put just a piece of fabric on top and an old book page on the back and I don't remember whose that is 
but okay this is another piece of paper I'm not sure where I got it from but mm, there you go all right this is a collage I did and <clears throat> let me see if I can get this up here where you can see it again I believe this is uh, graphic fairy uh, and just a little botanical print and I just did I'll just pitch it around I just put some different little things on the piece of fabric to give it a bit of a strength and make sure I get back in frame since I may try to get down a little closer I'm afraid I'm gonna jump out but anyhow something a collage I did here some birds out of one of my bird books again there's a little ceramic blue bird and a leaf um, this is a cardboard uh, coin protector which I encased some um, of my vintage watch faces in there and put a little bow on it it's got a different vintage watch face on this side uh, did a collage here and yeah okay I don't know there's nothing I don't think I think I was gonna put something there and I decided not to because it was getting rather bulky a little rabbit uh, stamp I had and again I did the same thing same technique using my chalk uh, pencils did a little collage I did a two pocket um, and just put just put uh, two stack pockets collage the little mice on there and then just use some different little um, smaller ephemera that I had in my stash and this I covered it with uh, that green old paper that you call what do you call it? when you're when you're painting masking paper I believe it is mm -hmm. again I did a little collage down here this is a little pocket that I made and backside I did a collage of a little bird and then here's a little pocket. And again, that's where I painted a moth. And that's Tracy's uh, paper on the back for journaling. It fits in this little pocket like so. And then I used the same idea here with the leaves to um, reinforce the a spine. Just a little collage there and a leaf tab, other side more eco dyed paper a collage uh, print that I have uh, I did a digital on this one but this was originally a master board was a collage I used a, a safety pin a coilless safety pin here and just put some little buttons it says September on there and some little dingle dangles pocket on the back did a little collage there uh, this is some of Stamp Stamperia's paper, I do believe. Yeah. Did a little snippet to, for the tag at the top. It's large. It could fit a real large photo on the back. Um, this is a, a, a mailer that has a window in it. I did a collage all the way around. And then I have the tag I did here with the with some collage I did on the front part of the paper. And I collaged the back. And the envelope is also lined. And then this is the little uh, other side of the envelope where I did some collages and etc. And then you can journal on that side. Okay. Again, it's a little pocket I did, sewed all the way around it. And this is the other side of the flap of the mailer here. And these are just some little tags I did with some papers. This is some um, paint paper that I had sprayed and did all kinds of stuff on. Um, and again, that's a old map my son gave me. Another one of Susan's... Um, Eco dyed digitals. 
um, added some butterflies to uh, the page here from under the cliff and did the leaf here. This is out of a butterfly book. Again, that's one of those uh, double uh, paper clips that I tied a little pearl to the top. Yep, and then this is an envelope. It's graphic fairy, I believe. And this is just a little journaling spot. Again, this is some paper that I had uh, sprayed and colored up. It fits in like so. It goes over the top. So you got pretty, pretty picture on both sides. This one is a, oh gosh, I forget who this was, but I'll put it down below. This is um, out of a butterfly book, and it talks about um, what she found in the fields, the little, the information that she saw, how the butterflies act, and anyhow, the caterpillar and what it does. And I added the little um, label there, and it's good. A good journaling spot for the back. Did a little bit of stenciling on the back. Give it a bit of interest. Eco dyed paper out of my uh, one of my butterfly books. Again, that's one of the little beetles that I painted um, with the chalk. I got this out of Edith Holden book, I believe. Another little beetle. I thought it went good with the violets. And this is a little hand-done uh, flower that I found um, in one of the museum sites. And this is a J. Lee, J. Lou, J. Lou. Anyhow, <laughs> didn't, didn't pronounce that right, I'm sure. Journaling spots, what it is. I'll put the link below, like I said. And did another one of the little ceramic uh, buttons or whatever dangles you want to call it with the leaf B and this is a double pocket for journaling and again Artie Mays and um, Tracy's uh, paper digital I believe that's a little bitty um, digital I got from Nick the Booksmith. Yeah, I think so. Anyhow, that goes like that. Another one of my uh, eco dyed papers. I can't remember who that is, but I'll look it up. This is some of uh, my digital papers. I just added some um, different uh, cutouts here and collage the back. And uh, use the leaf for a tuck for the journaling spot. Same thing, journaling spot. Again, out of a butterfly book. And I used a little leaf here for a place to, this is a, coin protector that I lapped over the page and I covered the bird's head here on this side. This is a bird that I uh, collaged onto uh, the undercliff page. This is a journaling spot and another one of the little um, paper clips. Eco dyed paper. I mean, yeah, a digital from uh, Susan. Um, butterfly, and I put some, uh, you probably can't see it, but it's, I used some gold paint and added some gold paint. So it's very iridescent, like butterflies are, you know. And that's a leaf I got out of my yard, which I added some iridescent paints to and did a bit of a collage. And this is a Graphic Fairy envelope, and it has a little uh, 
journaling card inside with some of Susan's leaves. And there's a journaling spot here on the back. Uh, the trees, digital. And then here is the very back page. And uh, this is from the um, Under the Cliff. And it has a picture of a lovely lady here. And this is a graphic fairy uh, digital. And the picture comes out. And she looks like she's looking at a flower. So I thought it was appropriate for, and with the flowers all the way around it. And this is a graphic fairy moth, and then in black and white. Again, from the Trees uh, digital collection. Um, then it fits back in. This has been stitched all the way around and lined. Fits back in like so. And then this flips up. And I did some collaging there. And the very last is this little cute weasel. I think it's a weasel. Journaling card, which fits inside of this right here. And then it goes in here. Okay. I believe that's it. So, I hope you enjoyed my flip through. I certainly enjoyed doing it. It was m one of my m most favorite uh, things I've ever done. And I guess that'll be the way it is until my next one. And it'll probably be the most favorite one I've ever done. <laughs> Anyhow, thanks again to Lita for her lovely little tag. And I hope you get mine uh, in one piece. So until next time, y'all stay happy. Keep on crafting. And don't forget, the most important thing in life is just to be happy and smile and do the things you love. Until next time, this is Barbie saying bye-bye-bye-bye.